It's going up right in front of me. I'm gonna push it up. I'm gonna turn back. I really want this to stay central in my body. And from here, I'm just moving slightly into the counterfold, slightly to the inside. Then my shoulder starts to drop and then everything will feed through. Welcome back to the Gravity Golf Channel. I'm your host, Daniel Lee. Today, we're coming at you from Germany, and we're gonna do an extension off of the last lesson, which was a one-footed front route drill with the right arm only. Now, these are very advanced drills, but if you're very athletic, you really wanna push yourself to getting into that mental space, that zone, that high level of sensitivity where you can feel exactly where your weight is, being able to get your center of mass, your center of gravity, your axis, those are all the same thing. It's just talking about where the bottom of your arc is. But what we wanna do is we wanna have our body mass moving through our shots. But when we're doing that, it's very important that we develop the sensitivity to how much that's happening and which direction it's going. That's what allows us to control our alignment as our weight moves forwards. So does our alignment change to the right as a right-handed player. It's like being in the middle of a geometric compass where you're drawing a circle around you. And then that ball is on the outside of the circle. And since it stays in one spot, it's a 90 degree angle from wherever your center of mass is as you're coming around that circle it just gets spit off on a tangent so what happens is you've got this 90 degrees and as you move forwards your alignment changes so we have to become very sensitive to that and all these things we want to do through feel we want to be able to feel that we get the bottom of our arc in the right spot so that we can actually catch this on the upswing that we can get our mass moving through it without having to come in trying to hit down on it and trying to force ourselves backwards. So we really wanna get everything tall and moving through this shot in a very easy way. So without any further ado, today's demonstration of the left-handed up route one footed drill. So what I'm gonna be doing here is hopping up to this on one foot. I've got my area picked out out there so i'm going to try and hit a nice high draw that's my goal and i've even got a wall that i'm working it back towards that i want it to stay on the right side of that so from here now that i've got my geometry set up i'm standing nice and tall this left arm's just cradled a little bit it's going up right in front of me i'm going to push it up i'm going to turn back i really want this to stay central in my body and from here I'm just moving slightly into the counterfold, slightly to the inside, then my shoulder starts to drop, and then everything will feed through. So, all right, let's go ahead. <laughs> so, there you get a good example of just how challenging it is. I moved my weight too much this way and I came down and the bottom of my arc went in front of it and I actually topped it a little bit. See if I can find my rhythm here. All right, that was much better. Got nice clean contact. It faded a little bit because my counter fall when I got to the top up here actually moves slightly to the right of my initial alignment. Let's see if I can get it to the left. All right, that was close, a little bit thin, but straighter. The more that you relax, the more that your center of leverage moves down in your body. Just like if you were doing jujitsu or any kind of martial art or dancing, you really want your weight low in your body. That was a good one. 
All right, still pretty straight, but it got up nice and high in the air. It was flush. Letting go of everything. All right, so I got that last one moving in the direction I wanted. It turned over, it started in the direction I wanted. It was a little bit thin, thin to win. When you're catching it in the upswing, it's it's much easier to feel compressed and get it to cover the distance you want it to. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and get the bottom of my arc a little bit further back so I can really relax these shoulders, get this a little higher and get it to turn over again. Yeah. All right. So there you have it. This is a really advanced drill. You can play around. You can do this with a five iron. Maybe start off doing it with a nine iron, something with a little more loft, a little more loft. Makes it a little bit easier. There's all these different ways. If you wanted to make this easier, if you've got a knee replacement or hip replacement, you can cross your feet. You can do that. You can do it with two hands. But I'm showing you how to really escalate this, how to take your athleticism, really put it to the max, really get yourself engaging with where you want to go and how to get your body working in harmony with itself. So thank you so much. We appreciate you. We really enjoy being able to do this and bring this kind of material to you. So please send us any questions you have, send in your videos. Let's get some, get some conversation going back and forth and get you going where you want to go. Take care, we'll see you soon. Thank you so much for being here with us today and allowing us to share this great information with you. If you have three seconds, please take it, hit the like and subscribe button. That goes a long ways for us. And be sure to check out in the description, there's a link for a free beginner's guide to learning gravity golf. It'll help show you the fundamentals of gaining effortless power, how to mitigate pain in your body, how to offset a lot of those misconceptions that you hear in some of the traditional things that are taught out there and give you the fundamental drills that you need to start ingraining this in your body. It's our gift to you. We want you to be successful and we love having you here. So thank you so much. We'll see you again very soon.